Hello and welcome. We're back for some more Coffee Break Chats um, this year. We've got Alistair Turner here today, one of the fantastic speakers who will be joining us at IBTM Wired this year in June. And, um, and he's doing a whole bunch of sessions at the show about different industry trends, building on um, what we discussed at IBTM World Virtual last year. So it's a lot of exciting stuff coming up, a lot of really cool insights. And just starting off, I, I'd love to know. So we discussed, or, or you discussed, sorry, I talk about we. Um, you discussed at IBTM World Virtual um, some really big mega trends that you thought would be um, big things in the industry in, in the year to come, I suppose. And uh, and I think if I remember correctly, those are diversity, wellness, security, technology, and I think the virtual experience economy. Um, so, so in your research for these sessions at IBTM Wired, what have you found about those? Are those still big? Yeah, well, look, thanks, Laura. It's nice to chat. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to um, I'm really looking forward to the sessions, actually. Um, I, I guess, you know, just to pr premise that, I mean, one of, one of the things that although this this document has is grown arms and legs and, 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 and is getting bigger and bigger every time I I produce it, um, we don't seem to ever be able to cover anything that I want to in the same depth that I want to. And uh, <laughs> it's nice to sort of um, cover things in a bit more a bit more depth. And, and actually, geographically, that's one of the things that that, that sometimes um, I sometimes feel we haven't gone into deeper. So we've got the uh, the uh, four sessions where we're going to try and deep dive a little bit more into those uh, those massive regions. And it's really I'm really glad that you start off with those trends because I think those those ubiquitous trends, those things that um, have just seeped into modern day society, have nuance in each of the geographies that we're looking at. And it tells us a huge amount about where different geographies around the world are handling this post-pandemic world that we're in. Um, and what we're really excited about is going into more of those details, but, but just to, to perk your interest. I mean, <laughs> if you were to look at something like um, uh, the, 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 the subject of safety, now that's everything from, um, you know, ecological safety to physical safety from harm and of course, um, pandemic um, and what you've got is you've got Asia's uh, places like Asia Pacific who uh, you relatively have handled um, the last 12 months in very confident uh, to be fair experienced way that isn't as big a issue for those guys um, yeah. you know I think, I think what they're really keen on is just getting out and, 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 and <laughs> with the rest of the world whereas still in Europe and the North America and, and, and certainly Latin America it, it's still a massive massive trend and, and the other one that I'm really excited about going into is is um, sustainability, because I don't think anyone knew just how big 2021 was going to be for sustainability. We knew it was going to be big, but I think we're on the cusp of something quite amazing uh, in our time. So um, I'm looking forward to just delving into that, how that nuances itself, both uh, within territory, but also as a, as a, as a global um issue that the events industry is, is is fast looking at absolutely and i mean i remember back when when the pandemic first started and everything went into lockdown everywhere and the kind of differences in the environment that we saw and i, I don't think anyone could forget the pictures that we saw on the internet of dolphins or fish swimming in the canals in venice and you know how clear the skies were in in china and and i think it's hard to forget something like that which is exactly yeah. what you're saying it's something that we have to think about and well, the, the, there was two 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 things that really put me as as as, as, an, as a commentator within the events industry and and, and the one negative one one positive um and and the, the 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 positive one was all about how um the events industry was able to use its soft power as a voice for good essentially it, it, yeah. was, it was about how you know, we, we you know we, we're sitting in the UK at the moment. We've got the big COP conference twenty six coming in at the end of the year. Um, that's going to be a meeting of minds, a physical meeting of minds that is essentially going to change the world that we live in, and that's really really exciting. And it just shows the the, the amazing um, you know the amazing impact that, that that what we do has. But then we've got that, and 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 I remember someone using the photo. You know, we're making ourselves the solution rather than the problem. But then there's that the other side of things, which is uh, an economist um, wrote very early on that it was the uh, the industries I, I can't I'll, I'll quote him properly, but the industries that were responsible for 
the spread of the pandemic are the exactly the same ones that are suffering from them. And mm. the, uh, in the, in, you know, the, what they were basically saying is it was because of all of us people traveling all around the world on expensive um, hotels and uh, clever flights, things like that, that we were just spreading um you know the, the the good things as well as bad yeah. and i think where we come out is this idea that we need to be more of the the, the former and, and less of the latter yeah more of a, a conscious or or responsible traveler instead of just doing yeah. everything and ever, anything and i think what one of the things that that we're increasingly doing through the report is not just looking at um industries but looking at people you know yeah. people, people are just changing all the time and and it's no secret and no it shouldn't be of any shock to us that um the 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 the, the analogy that people make between what we've perhaps done to the planet and what covid has done to our society are not so far apart mm -hmm. so this idea one, one of the things that the actually we missed um, regrettably in the last um, uh, in the last report that I'm trying to make up for <laughs> idea that, um, we look at ourselves as both a, a local global the trends local global basically where okay. we look locally we care about local communities but we see ourselves as part of the global community now and the pandemic's just accelerated that beyond any measure uh, we we feel more connected to other countries in a way uh, in a compassionate way that perhaps we've never done before but we're still very very focused on our local communities as well which is yeah. really great that's really cool and i suppose that kind of leads me on to something i've been really curious about you mentioned um before that it's been great to do a bit more of a deep dive um into each region since that's not something that we've done before how how has it been kind of researching each of the regions are they very different are they very similar in what the trends they think are, are going to be really big yeah and, and i think it's different yeah it is different and 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 which is which is which is good um because i think what this is about is sharing learning right um and what can we do differently going forward you know how, how what can we learn from different regions um what's really interesting is the the, the approach that i wanted to take with this new research that, that we'll be talking about during the week in these sessions is to understand what the route to recovery looks like for each pagan. So if you take someone like the, the region that is Africa, this, this, this mm. huge behemoth of a region, <laughs> it's not amazingly dissimilar to somewhere like Europe because what, what you've got is a lot of countries that rely on cross um, uh, sort of transatlantic or cross border um, travel to, to, yeah. to, to get themselves going. Um, Europe's a bit different we still need lots of people traveling around, but we're happy that people are traveling around within Europe. We're not as reliant on people coming from America and things like that. We want to, don't get me wrong, of course. But we're not as reliant. Somewhere like Australasia and, and well, Asia Pacific in general, certainly Australasia, really does need that transatlantic, really does need that. Um, and their internal market isn't, isn't strong. Oh. North, North America? could pretty much, and, and, and they won't thank me for saying this, but comparatively, let's say, could pretty much live on their own. You know, <laughs> the, 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 they have a huge internal market, massive appetite, it's a massive country, it's a huge region, you know, so, so yeah. why, why wouldn't it, you know? Um, so it's it's about sort of understanding the smaller dynamics. And and, and one of the things I'm quite excited to, we, we're talking to to Ben um, from Maritz um, to talk about Europe specifically. And one of the things we're going to be talking about is, is almost like the, the, the similar, uh, the differences and similarities between like Germany and the UK within okay. Europe to understand sort of like how that blocks working, how that, that differs. And then we'll, we'll be talking um, uh, actually, actually the day before with Rick Taylor from the business tourism company, um, who's going to talk about Africa and how those little regions rely on each other. Um, Karen Bollinger um, from PCMA uh, is talking about Asia Pacific about that 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 long um, that long haul travel and things like. That. And I think hopefully, if you, it, what what I hope is, if you put those chapters together, we'll begin to understand the nuances of how this industry is both going to recover and sustain over the long term period. Absolutely. I mean, yeah, it's all kind of pieces of a jigsaw coming together. You need all of them to see the big picture. So. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And, and, and actually, uh, you know, I should also mention uh, the, the, the amazing Sheriff Karen Matt from PCMA as well, who's going to be doing the Americas. But what we wanted to do, because it's America and, and, and we shouldn't, should never sort of belittle the, the, the global influence of America. We want to take a more global look, not least because Sheriff does, does operate on, a, on an amazing global level and PCMA has such a great vision for that. And we're going to we're going to maybe take a step outside of America as well and look at it from a global perspective as well. Nice. 
Well, yeah, I mean, it's it's so interesting. And I, I'm looking forward to hearing kind of all the different um, insights for each of the regions. I think it's so um, valuable, especially at the moment, to see how everyone's recovering just generally, as well as, as the key trends for the industry. And I mean, are there any kind of recoveries that you've seen over over the past few months that you've been really inspired by anything that you've seen that you're like oh that's going to be interesting yeah I mean it's you know what maybe inspiration is something that we all need a, an, an injection of at the moment <laughs> and, and and don't get me wrong the, the the people that I'm speaking to are really inspiring mm. and I'm really pleased Absolutely. that what they're saying but do, do, do you know what it is we've what we've got is an industry that's on the precipice of something new yeah and 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 that's a scary place to be and what you need is leaders like the ones I'm, I'm talking to to sort of inject this 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 inspiration or to us and, and and hopefully lead everyone else through because I think what what I'm very acutely aware of is is you know this has been a, a trauma a, a global trauma um societal wise but 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 when one looks at business and, and our own industry it's, it's it's been a phenomenal trauma that we're only just getting out the back of um, and what what does inspire me is the degree of hope and positivity, but also what I think was I was I was slightly skeptical, let's say, when I was talking about things like sustainability uh, and purpose and and, and good business um, at the end of 2019, because I was questioning whether we as an industry were capable of tackling big themes together. Um, mm -hmm. And you know what? I, I'm so inspired by the fact that we are now. I'm, I'm more convinced 12 months later than I ever been before because there is such a will to change. And I think not only the people within our industry, the leaders within our industry, but also the people that come into our rooms and our events every single day, they've changed as well. And I think what you're going to see is, is a tremendous energy, which will be negative as well as positive, but it will be pushing us in a direction that I think we all want to go. Yeah. No, that, I mean... I don't think I've any I've heard anyone put it better than that, but I think you're absolutely right. I, I think I think there's a real drive now to do things better than we did. And and I know, you know, personally, IBTM Wired, of course, is going to be a virtual event because that's something that that people wanted and needed. And IBTM World in December is going to be a hybrid event. We're going to have both physical and virtual elements. And I, I think even just taking on those small changes will build and build and build and, and get bigger and bigger. And I think I think you're right. And did you know what? And, and I think it, it, it's funny both being the meeting where we all get together globally, but also <laughs> being a case study as an event. What's really, really interesting is, is the moves that IBTM um, has, has made. But, but you know what? One of the things that, that, that maybe we've been guilty of over the last 10, 20 years is forgetting our value. Mm. Um, we talk a lot about our value, but but sometimes I think we forget it as well. It, it's hiding in plain sight. And the reality is, is that people want to do what we do. There is value inherent in what we do. And when you take something, it's the, there's the old phrase, isn't there? You don't miss something until it's gone. And yeah. it's coming back. And I think what we're now able to do is reassess that, 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 that return. And, and hybrid is a massive part of that, because what we can do is we can create amazing experiences both in digital and live and, and and that wonderful mix of the two always with our ideas and value because whatever happens when business reassesses something and it comes back you've always got a blank sheet of paper and what we'll be what i'm I, i'm seeing is that people are looking at us with this new new idea of, 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 of heightened value of what we do and and i think we're in a really good place to sort of live up to that heightened expectation absolutely I, yeah, no, I, I couldn't agree more. I think it's going to be a really exciting time, definitely. Yeah, I'm, and I'm really looking forward to um, Wired as well. I think it's 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 I, I, one of my favourite case studies over the last um, sort of two years was um, the Economist did an amazing business event where they it was essentially a forty eight hour event. I think they went from New York um, uh, through London, um, Hong Kong, and then sort of roundabout again. I think they went to LA, <laughs> and they just kept the meeting going around the different territories and what i loved about it was just how um again it was that global local you can be a global machine but you can also look at localities wherever you can 
and if I, as, as as delegations they were able to come and go and things like that and, and, and i and i like wired because it's doing something not dissimilar we, we're sort of it's 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 a world tour in four days and i quite well, like absolutely that. i mean why didn't we use that as our tagline <laughs> well, that's it well, well you know too many tagline but... <laughs> <laughs> oh, but yeah like ali says um we are going to be starting off in asia pacific um we're then going to be moving to um the americas for day two of the event day three we'll touch on the middle east and africa and then day four will finish us off in europe and I will be speaking on each of those days about the different um, themes and, and trends in each of the regions. So if you're interested in joining us, we'd love to see you online. Um, and uh, and thanks, Al, for joining me. Thanks for sharing a little bit about the sessions. I can't wait to attend them now. Not at all. It's nice chatting, Laura. Thank you. Brilliant. Thank you.